guys, it is April, I'm getting huggy with it. Today I'm here to do my July favorites. I have quite a few home kind of favorites right now. I've got a beauty favorite, a book favorite of course, and I wanted to share them with you. So let's get into it. biggest favorite that I have for July is we painted our home. Now not the whole thing, we did a good chunk of painting. Um, we did all of the main floor, we did the powder room on the main floor, and all of the hallways going up the stairs, which is almost impossible to reach. We did our master bedroom and our master bath. And I am so happy with it. I was so nervous. Um, yeah, I, I get nervous about these things. My home is like, it's precious to me. It is my safe place, my place to wind down. And I don't know, I, I think paint has a lot to do with it. Colors really have a lot to do with things. So um, I wanted to show you some of the paint that we chose. So the main color that we chose that goes throughout all of the main floor, all the way up the stairs and in the hallways, that is Benjamin Moore's Moonshine. This is uh, a light gray that has green undertones to it. And I really am so happy with this. It changes throughout the day. Sometimes it looks like a warmer gray, sometimes it looks a little bit cool, and I love that it has a character throughout the day and changes. Um, I, I really, really love that. So I'm thrilled with this Moonshine. Um, I heard about Moonshine from Young House Love, that blog, and I kind of got hooked on it. I was looking at all of these different blog posts, uh, trying to find the perfect, the perfect gray for us. I was thinking gray owl for a while and then I decided against it. And I had really wanted to do classic gray, which is like an almost, almost their gray. It's kind of in between gray and white. And Barry thought that was too light. So we ended on moonshine and I'm really happy for it. Now in this room, my little library, I will probably go for classic gray. So here is classic gray. Um, I think it's really beautiful, but Barry didn't think it was quite um, dark enough. We also went ahead and painted our master bathroom with uh, that same color. So Moonshine is in our master bathroom as well, and we'll probably do the guest bathroom in that color as well. So main color is moonshine and then we went ahead and did our master bedroom in a really classic everyone seems to paint their house um revere pewter by benjamin moore so this is a gray with a lot of brown in it and it is the most calming place to fall asleep i'm really happy that we chose that for that room that is right up here and you know it seems pretty light on the swatch and then when you get it in the room it darkens up which I really like I I really am happy with that we've got quite a bit of Revere Pewter left so we'll probably end up um, painting our ensuite closet um, ensuite closet who has an ensuite closet what is that walk-in closet we'll probably end up painting it that color as well <clears throat> um, and then my most exciting, and I don't have the swatch here with me and I, I apologize for that, but I somehow magically convinced Barry to paint our powder room black. It's called Blackjack by Benjamin Moore and I love it. One of the things about Benjamin Moore's paints that I really, really like is that they're matte for bathroom paint and that is key to me, especially if you're painting a really dark color like that in a bathroom, it's gotta be matte or else it looks like overwhelming. It's already overwhelming, but I thought I could get away with it in this room because we have two windows in this room. And so I thought maybe I could get away with it. And 
I think this is my favorite room and Barry said it was his favorite room so I'm so happy that we painted that room blackjack it looks really really fun so um, we're still kind of deciding about the other rooms this room um, my little library it will probably be classic gray because I've been dying to use that color so light you probably won't even notice it on camera but I will and that's what matters the most so um, otherwise I am actually debating for the turret room which was going to be our nursery now it's like my yoga room and that's okay um, I'm debating between doing that one in blackjack which is that black again or doing it in Revere Pewter um, and then we have a guest room and I'm I'm leaning towards Stonington Gray now, I know to a lot of people all of those things just look the same but to me they're all so different <laughs> I just love that stuff so yeah I've talked for like seven eight minutes about paint but that's the thing that have has been making me the most happy so painting our house number one number two um, Barry got me the most lovely sweet gift uh, early in July he got me Clementine California perfume this is by Atelier Cologne and the reason that he got this for me is um, our due date so I had a miscarriage if you're you're probably not new to my channel uh, if you are new to my channel I had a miscarriage in December end of December I was three months along and I had a missed miscarriage and it was devastating my due date was July 9th and the lead up to the due date was I think some of the hardest days of my life because it was just so emotional I was so sad I was so mad it was really hard to like look at other women who were very pregnant and no that should have been me um, and I was just struggling now Barry got this for me because I've been trying to find different ways to commemorate and honor and you know just remember my child and one of the ways um, is through this perfume when I was pregnant I was addicted to clementines clementines were everything to me and I loved them and so this fragrance really smells like a clementine it is so fresh and I'm planning on um, wearing this um, well whenever I need to think about my little baby um, so on the due date I wore it I'm actually wearing it today um, yeah I just really like wearing this when I when I need to feel close to my baby again so that was so kind of him so that was definitely a favorite um, another favorite of mine was a documentary that I saw on HBO um, it's the Robin Williams documentary I think it's called come inside my mind and it was so uh, it was such a nice way to remember Robin Williams oh my goodness that man was so talented he was just a, a bright light and it's so strange that that light has gone out like it still seems really surreal to me um, yeah so the documentary it was really good because it didn't overly focus on his death they didn't focus on that so much that it took away from his life which I thought was really important to do that so uh, they talked about how he was discovered and uh, the beginnings of Mork and Mindy and his marriages and his children and it was just wonderful and uh, they interviewed a ton of different celebrities um, and Billy Crystal was one of them and I didn't know that he was like best friends with Bill Billy Crystal uh, and they used to send each other and leave each other little voicemails and Billy Crystal kept quite a few and they played them uh, in the documentary and it's so worth watching I loved it my husband and I are big Robin Williams fans so um, yeah loved it if you have a chance and you have HBO go and watch that for sure uh, another favorite of mine is a bit of a random one but it's this phase and these hydrangeas 
So these are fake hydrangeas. They probably look fake to you, maybe, but to me, I was, I can't really tell the difference if I'm being honest. And I really, really love them. And I found this vase at a garage sale uh, for like $5. And I personally love it. And every time I see this vase and these hydrangeas, I just feel happy and it just makes me feel like summer is going to be everlasting. So I really enjoyed that little steal. I put that together. I, I would say for that whole thing, I it ended up being like $15, which is pretty good. And then finally, now don't judge me, but I'm going to say that a favorite book is a book that I haven't finished yet. While I'm filming this, I will not have finished it. In fact, I'm only 60 pages in, but those 60 pages have been the most riveting 60 pages that I've read in a long time. This is Blood Wedding. The premise of this story is we follow a woman who loses her memory in the sense that she blacks out at times and doesn't remember what happened and she doesn't remember how long ago she was awake and when she fell asleep or blacked out. I know the whole unreliable narrator thing has been overdone. What I'm trying to tell you is please give this one a try because I cannot put this down. I was thinking about this at work today. I got this yesterday in the mail um, from Quirkus Books. I got it yesterday. I immediately opened it and started reading and I, I can't put it down. So this woman blacks out a lot and when she's blacked out, um, she, the young boy that Sophie is a nanny for, he dies while in her care. Um, and then she goes on the run and she's changing her identity and she's trying to get away. This isn't the first time that she's blacked out at all. She has blacked out throughout her, I think, adult life. Um, she was once married and so this is nothing new and so you, you're kind of wondering like how long has this been going on and what happened before and what made her think that it was a good idea to become a nanny if you black out and then creepy ass shit happens like what i am loving this book so this author is a french author and this is translated um this is translated by frank Wynne. And this author also wrote Alex, which I think is his most popular book, which is part of a series. It's a part of a, a three-part series. It starts with Irene, Alex, and then Camille. And so I'm going to be reading that. Even though that is a detective series, I think that I can definitely get on board because I freaking love this book. So yeah, you gotta go and check this out. I know that I'm only 60 pages in and I apologize if I totally changes my mind and at the end of this, but I would be so surprised if anything changed my mind because it's that good. Like this might end up being the best thriller that I've read this year. Remember how excited I was about I'm thinking of ending things? This, my friends, is right up there. So. Okay, I think those are my favorites. This is a long, long favorites video and I'm so sorry. There aren't even that many favorites, but I needed to share all of them with you. I hope you don't mind that I chatted on and on and on about my paint colors. But these are the things that bring me a lot of joy and I wanted to share them. So I hope that you are doing well. Let me know in the comments below if you have anything that you absolutely loved that blew your mind in July. It could be a book, a movie, something for your home. I am totally into home decor stuff. Did you get a pet? Let me know. I want to know and I will talk with you later. Bye!